Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beauty Mgoniwa. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Information Systems at Midland State University in Zimbabwe. I'm studying towards a PhD in Information Systems with the University of South Africa under the supervision of Professor E.N. Ketcher, who also co-authored the paper that I'm going to present. And the title of the paper is The Readiness for Adoption of Federated Social Networking Sites to Enhance Contemporary Educational Engagement, the Case of Zimbabwean Universities. It was gathered from the literature review that approximately 90% of university students around the world are using social networking sites for academic purposes. This research was motivated by the fact that students are limited when it comes to exporting academic material from one social networking site to the other. That means they won't be able to share much needed academic content so the study proposed to integrate users from those different social networking platforms to a more decentralized structure so that academic interoperability and transparent can be achieved. The main thrust of the research was to assess the readiness for adoption of federated social networking sites. To achieve this, the objectives that follow were proposed. One, to profile federated social networks as an interoperable platform to enhance online-based education. To find out the readiness for the adoption of federated social networks in universities. To ascertain the imperativeness of federated social networks to contemporary education and lastly to identify challenges associated with the adoption of federated social networks in the academic environment. A naturalist philosophical paradigm was adopted and on an interpretivist view which argued that the reality of the world is constructed by the participants' view, opinions, attitudes, and behavior, at the same time differing one another through experience and expectations. This is according to the paper by Baboons, which was published in the year 2016. A qualitative strategy, particularly a multiple case design strategy, was employed. The participants in this regard were the lecturers and the students who were chosen using expert sampling techniques from the selected five universities targeting information systems and computer science department. A sample of 95 participants was used which consisted of lecturers and students. Three data gathering tools were used, and these are telephone interviews, online questionnaires, and ethnography. Data analysis was done in themes guided by the interpretivism paradigm. Our major outcomes were divided into three categories. The first outcome, readiness of universities to adopt federated social networking sites. The results indicated that 100% of both students and their lecturers are using one or more social networks for academic purposes. Although many networking platforms were given as the major platforms used WhatsApp was noted as the more cost-effective network in terms of communication and transferring of academic material. 
even considering this COVID-19 pandemic era, most educa educationists are encouraged to, in, uh, to conduct lectures on virtual classrooms like Google Class, Zoom, but in most cases, they end up sending WhatsApp messages to supplement these classes. This is because many students cannot afford data. The other challenge are we, a fear of social media abuse and network challenges. LinkedIn, Twitter, Skype, where some of the recurring networks mentioned, which have features of uploading, searching, and downloading content. The second outcome is the importance of federated social networking sites in higher education. An information-rich educational community is expected to be harvested from the implementation of a cross-platform uh, of social networking interface. The study gathered that since federated social networking sites are flexible, advanced educational diversity, discovery, and innovation can be achieved. The students are free to use a network they are comfortable with, considering, of course, if it supports what the students intend to do at that moment. The federated social networking sites protocols uh, motivate the learners to scout for more content which can be received from different plat platforms to one destination. Our last outcome was the challenges in adopting federated social networking sites. Most respondents we concerned with issues in development of federated social networking sites where they suggested that there is need for the participation of popular social networking sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. In Zimbabwe, the issues like network problems are common and these affect all network users, with some parts of the country witnessing poor or no connectivity at all. In addition, some students are not privileged enough to have gadgets that can connect to the internet for them to participate on these social networking sites. Adoption of federated social networking sites in an academic environment. For a user to participate in the federated social networking sites, there is need for the user to subscribe to at least one application in order to communicate to anyone who is also registered on any one platform from the list covered by the federated social networking site. The figure presented is a proposed framework for conceptualizing federated social networking sites in higher education. It is regarded as a peer-to-peer -peer federated social networking sites with three different sites at play. These are social networking site X, social networking site Y, and social networking site Z. In this instance, each social networking site maintains its own integrity but having the ability to pass messages to other social networking sites. For instance, a lecturer using social networking site sets can communicate to a student A using social networking site X. This is because social networking site set realizes that the student is not registered to social networking site set but registered to social networking site X. So it routes the message to the social networking site X using the appropriate transmission protocols. This feature is borrowed from the emailing features that enables emails to be sent across different platforms. 
in conclusion, 100% of the respondents agreed that the educational arena should take leverage on the advent of the latest technology of social networking sites. And 75, 71 were concerned with the need to ensure that interoperability exists between applications so as to avoid block-in effect at the same time, enhancing innovative education. 95% of the students are having difficulties with accessing social networks due to poor network, lack of data financing, and not having the right gadget to connect to the internet. In conclusion, the adoption of federated social networking site is imperative to enhance learner-centered education. Although there are still challenges militating against full adoption, this conception, which is still under development, is highly anticipated to bring many benefits after its full implementation. The recommendations to this study are 1. Higher education should take part in the development of federated social networking protocols as the applications will play a pivotal role in shaping the academic fraternity. Also taking note of the need to fully implement user control features to avoid the abuse of online content. 2. Universities should design and implement social media policies to officially promote uh, such e-learning platform for educational diversity purpose. Three, the federated social networking pr protocols should take every social networking site on board, taking a leap from emailing service providers, which therefore words of fragmentation between social networking platforms. Um, and the last recommendation, upon inception, federated social networking sites should be fully adopted to promote and ease academic content sharing. I thank you.